Thanks, Stan. Looks like a beautiful day out there. And joining us now to talk about the biggie and what we have ahead for the next 17 days is President and CEO of the Eastern States Exposition, Gene Cassidy. Thanks so much for joining us it's this afternoon. It's great to see you, Amanda. Thanks for having me. Well, you already have such an amazing crowd just the first few hours of the big, fair today. Big crowd. Last year, we had over 80,000 people on the fairgrounds, but uh, as of this hour, uh, we're ahead of last year, so uh, I expect today to be a really big day. And what do you think people are most looking forward to for this year's fair? Well, you know, I, I mean, I, I was here early this morning greeting people at the gates, which is a, a great, fun thing to do because they're so happy to be here. But I think, you know, this year after, you know, that now the fog of our bad times are behind us, people are really anxious to get back to, to living. And, uh, and the fair is a great place to see family and friends, and so they're here in force. Yes, definitely. I'm sure the good weather is helping out this well, weekend. Well, by golly, you know, we've been blessed. Today's been a beautiful day, uh, and the forecast looks good so far for, for the weekend. So, you know, people are just happy to be out and, and about and enjoying the fair and, and each other's company. Definitely. What would you say is your favorite part of the Big E every year? What do you look forward to? The well, most? you know, uh, for, for me, you know, the Big E's been such a big part of my life for a long time. I was born here in West Springfield, uh, not far from where we're sitting right now. <laughs> And uh, just being in the company of everybody is it's a, it's a great feeling. Uh, you know, I always call it the American way of life on the fairgrounds. Uh, and, you know, just being here in the company of all the fairgoers is what I always look forward to. There's so many things to do, musical acts. We'll have 147 musical events that will take place on the fairgrounds in the next 17 days. Big names to small names. And, uh, and lots in between. We've got our Hooplandia, which will... Uh, there's a little bit of a focus here on the Avenue Estates. The, 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 the Dunk Squad is here. They're representing uh, the three-on-three -three basketball event that the Eastern States will host uh, in June uh, of next summer. Uh, and there's just there's just so much to do, eat, see, and, and, and happiness on the fairgrounds. There is. I feel like everyone focuses on the biggie food the most. Do you have one? What's your top food item? We have here? Well, of course, you know, uh, we make the cream puffs at the Eastern States, an iconic, uh, iconic food item which is really, really good. But truth be told, my favorite thing on the fairgrounds are the fried cheese curds. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so you can only get them here, and then yeah. you can only get them once a year, so that's what I look forward that's to the most. Year. Yeah. I know we have, like you mentioned, we have a lot of musical acts coming up in the next 17 days. We have the Dropkick Murphys tonight. Tonight, yeah. So this weekend, we're halfway to St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, here at the Eastern States, we have a whole a section of the Young Building is dedicated to Dingle, Ireland. We have the Dingle Peninsula Pavilion. So we have craftsmen from Ireland uh, here. All of our Irish friends are back after COVID. Uh, that had a devastating effect on that country. So all the craftsmen are back this year for the first time. And uh, they're happy to be here. So we started off halfway to St. Patrick's Day, Dropkick Murphy tonight. Uh, tomorrow night we have Unforgettable Fire, which is a U2 uh, band, which is really, really good. And they'll be in the arena stage. So. Uh, yeah, we're happy to have our, the cel for us Irish, this will be a great celebration <laughs> weekend. You gave right. Yes. Well, that's amazing. And are any of the concerts sold out already? I know you have some. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the biggie.com. Uh, there's still some tickets left to Dropkick. Uh, not many. Uh, but, and then, you know, for folks that want to plan their day, visit the biggie.com. Get yourself a plan so that you're not overwhelmed when you get here. Yeah. And then if you're interested in the concerts, uh, they're, at this point, they're getting close to being sold out, so I, you know, get on the website and take a look. Yes, and if you do miss out, there's, of course, so many things that you oh, can do Oh, there's so here. much, and we got great free entertainment. John Cicada is going to be here, some great stuff from back in the 80s and the 70s for people of my age, uh, and in contemporary music as well. Yes, well, we're looking forward to the next 17 days checking out the fairgrounds. Well, I'm giving credit to Western Mass News for the weather, so yeah. just if you, you keep bringing the weather, you know, we're I all going to have a ball. I know, it's a beautiful day to be out here today. Thanks sure. so much for Good joining bet. us, Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Gene.